Hey guys, my name is Stian Hovland and I'm from Norway. And today I'm going to show you a quick exam example on how to make an automation in FL Studio 11. So, there's two ways of making an automation. One way is making one manually. And it's the preferred way in my opinion. Let's see. Now let's listen to this. Now, what if I want this to be in a lower frequency and increase over time? For example, like this. What I like to do is this, this thing here controls my high frequency. So if I right click and create an automation clip, by the way, you see I've selected this area beforehand. This is how wide my automation clip is going to be. So if I right click and create automation, you see it'll be that size. Now let me just copy the value just in case something happens there. Copy the value. Okay, now I can fiddle around with it with this as much as I want. Now it's just going to sum up because it's the same frequency all the way. But what if I move it down here? Now have a look in the equalizer. You can see the slope. You can even change the, you know, the curve. Yeah, that's the way I like to autom make automations. And if you click anywhere on these lines, you can create another... I mean, if you right click, you can create another point, which you can then move around. And I can make another one. You can get these weird effects. You can experiment with you know, as much as we want, it's, yeah, it's live and learn, I guess. <laughs> um, another way to make automations is a way that I usually don't like to do because it may ruin my track sometime, and that is recording. If I press record, and re automation and score. Hold on. Yes. Then I can do whatever I want in this region while recording. Let's see. Like that. Now. That's another way of doing automation. Um, yeah, so I hope you learned something and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.